Catherine Thomas. Welcome to Kingdom View. You know, the world has its view, but God has his view. to Hulda, the prophetess, as one of the hidden women in the Bible. As a matter of fact, it was several years ago when the Holy Spirit woke me in the middle of the night and spoke to me about this awesome woman of God. And I couldn't believe it. Here it was, plain for anyone to see that she was referred to as a prophetess in a time when I had been told that women should not preach. It's mentioned twice in the Bible. You can imagine my amazement when I read that a king had sought after a woman to get clarity on what he had read. And after reading about Hulda, I realized that she was a woman with great power and influence. She had great influence on King Josiah, and she was a woman of distinction. So. On today's program, we will be discussing how you can be a woman of God that has great influence on his kingdom. Amen. 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 So I'm going to ask Apostle Darling to go ahead and give us what her interpretation is on Hulda. First of all, um, Apostle Catherine, I would just like to say that we all want to congratulate you on writing the book, The Hulda Anointing. Because as you have said, there's not much that we have heard about Hulda. We've heard about the Deborah anointing, we've heard about the Esther anointing, but now the Holy Spirit has given you the Hulda anointing. Yes. And we're excited about that. Amen. And I was really excited about it as I read your book and how you gave us some of the characteristics of Hulda. And the one that stayed in my mind is humility. In order to have that holder's anointing, we have to have humility. Amen. What I got out of it is that this was a woman after God's own heart. Yes. 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 And whatever she said that God had given to her to give to the individual ones, it was for real. Amen. You didn't have to think twice about it because you knew that she was a woman of God because what she said made a lot of sense and it was by the word of God. Yes, yes, yes. And what I got out of it was that it was like she was hidden, yeah, until that time when the king needed to hear a prophetic word, a true prophetic word from God. Yes. And, you know, God sent her, they sent for her and God gave her that prophetic word to give to him. You know, even though he was not going to be there when the destruction was going to take place, mm -hmm. but yet she had to be courageous and she had to give him that prophetic word mm -hmm. that the Lord had given to her. Amen. Well, for our listeners, um, what we're talking about is when um, King Josiah, he had two servants that they found a scroll amongst a lot of rubbish in a building. And when they opened up the scroll and they began to read, um, they thought that they should bring it to King Josiah, and they did. And when he read it, he wanted them to take it to someone so that he could get an interpretation of exactly what the word was, the scroll was saying. And so when we say she was a woman sought after, when they began to look for someone, As a matter of fact, they had already heard of Hulda the prophetess. Right. And otherwise, they wouldn't have gone to her. 
So when they went to Huldah, now they could have gone to Jeremiah, yeah. mm -hmm. could have gone to Prophet Isaiah, could have gone to Ezekiel, could have gone to many of the male prophets, mm -hmm. but they went to a woman. All right, all right. And so we definitely, definitely want to emphasize that today, yes. that it was a woman who interpreted the word to them. And I do want you all to read, go in your Bibles and read for yourself and find out exactly what the message was. But the message was telling them that God was, was getting ready to bring destruction. God gave her a word that he was getting ready to bring destruction. And that um, because of Josiah, King Josiah's humility, that this destruction was not going to, going to come on him. It wouldn't come during his lifetime, but that God was displeased because of their um, worshiping idols, mm -hmm. and he was getting ready to bring this destruction. But he, the thing about it is, he used Holden. What made him want to use Holden? And I'm here today to tell you that God will use you. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter who you are. If you yield yourself to him, Amen. he will use you. Amen. And so we believe that this, even though Hulda was not um, one of the women that was uh, primary in the Bible, like Deborah or Esther, mm -hmm. we believe that there had to be an anointing, yes. in other words, for her to be able to give that message and then for the king to believed the message, right. he believed right. it so quickly, and he began to act on it. Right. And he went back and he told uh, the, the other servants that, you know, we have been, I'm paraphrasing, we have not really been keeping the word. This is mm -hmm. the way God wants us to do it. Right. And so he went back and he made correction. And because of that correction, the nation was saved at that particular time because of what Holden did. The destruction didn't come right then because of King Josiah's humility. Amen. Amen. I want to read just a, uh, a few of the uh, what I believe you need to have to have this anointing. Because we need some modern day holders. You yes. all agree? Amen. Oh, yes. We Amen. need modern day holders. Yes. I'm a modern day holder. Yes. Amen. Because the, the subtopic of the book it says being a woman of distinction. Amen. And in order, in order to be a woman of distinction, you have to allow yourself to be set apart. Mm -hmm. You do. And like Holder, you have to not consider yourself being uh, um, somebody that's so mighty that God wants to use you because you're a, a prophetess or an apostle that's or right. a bishop right. or whoever, whatever your title is. You have to consider yourself nothing without Christ. Amen. And that's what I believe Holda did. I believe Amen. she considered yes. herself just being humble. She was a um, keeper of the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. She was making clothes, you know, and, and on the uh, campus, on the college campus. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't doing anything so spiritual mm -hmm. that made her stand out. That's right. But God looks at the heart. Uh, thank you. Lord. And I feel that some of the, um, in one of the titles, it says the characteristics of Holda. And I think that, um, let me turn to it, amen. Amen. I believe that one of the characteristics was is that she was a true prophetess that walked in humility. All right, that's the number one word. She walked in humility. We have a lot of people with titles that do not walk in humility. They walk with pride, you know, they have a, a prideful attitude. And she was a teacher that taught by example. Amen. Amen. She was a teacher that taught by example. Amen. Because uh, Jewish tradition tells us that Hulda was a teacher also. Mm -hmm. And she lived in Jerusalem in the second district. That was a university. So she was a teacher mm -hmm. and she was also uh, keeping a wardrobe. Amen. And then she had a good reputation. She had a good reputation. If you want to be a modern day holder today and be used by God, you have to not just preach the word and teach it, but you have to live what you're preaching. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let's, let's just start right there for a minute. She had a good reputation. 
How do we go about keeping a good reputation for ourselves? By uh, one good way of doing it is by the B-I-B-L-E. Amen. Yes, that's the book for me. Amen. Praise God. Because of the simple fact is that when you're in your word, mm -hmm. God comes alive in your word. Amen. And so when people begin to see you, yes, they will think that, what, what is it today about her? But it's nothing but that anointing that God has taken from his word and spread it from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Prophet. And I agree with that because James says be a doer of the word Amen. and not a hearer. To be a doer of the word, not hear only. Amen. In other words, practice what you preach. Apply the word to your life. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I believe Halta was a woman that when they got ready to go and find someone to interpret that scroll, they had heard of Halta. Yes. They had heard of her. Mm -hmm. Amen. Her reputation Amen. followed her. Amen. And Amen. she had distinguished herself among the other women. Yes. yes. She yes. was set apart. Yes. And she had a reputation. Mm -hmm. And they knew her. Yes. So uh, King Uzziah, even in his youth, he was a very young king. He, even his, in his youth, he had wisdom mm -hmm. to call for a holder. Like you yes. said, he could have called for his, his cousin Jeremiah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of the other prophets, but he, he wanted um, Huldah's take on it. Right. Amen. He wanted to see what called is their word from the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so when they, when they sent him, when they sent for her, and she gave him the word of the Lord, he honored it. Amen. As he, as, as God, as it came directly from God. Amen. So she was distinguished, and she was set apart. Amen. She, and and they knew her. Yes. They knew her, like you said, they knew her at the university because she was a teacher. That's right. That's right. So she was well known. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, as a teacher by profession myself. One of the things, um, uh, apart from being a teacher, you have to be humble to be a teacher. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes. After being in the classroom for 38 years, I'm a humble person Amen. by those little children. <laughs> <laughs> by my babies. Amen. You know, I, she, I wanna, she was well, well known. Yes, Amen. I just want to piggyback on what you just said about, um, because she had an occupation. Mm -hmm. And many times, you know, uh, women that are, you know, have careers, right. they, you know, you don't have to go with the flow of what's going on around you to have that hold of anointing and to keep it, mm -hmm. you know, because when you're walking in the flow of that hold of anointing, it doesn't matter what everybody else is doing around you. Mm -hmm. You still stand out. You're still set apart mm -hmm. for the master's use. Amen. Because you've been before the Lord that morning in prayer or whatever, and you're praying all during the day. And being a teacher and working in the school system, mm -hmm. I was not a teacher. I was a teacher's assistant, but I did get the experience. I was just, you know, to big, piggyback on what you were saying about Holder, she did have an occupation. And she was, you know, in the presence of people. And, and just to know that women that have occupations and they are also called into the ministry to walk, you know, to walk in obedience and humility, that they can have that hold of anointing even when you're in the midst of everything that's going on negative around you. Yeah. But you can still flow in that hold of anointing Amen. to do and be obedient and have humility before the Lord so that God can use you because that's what it, cause he used Holta Amen. with her occupation, with wow. her everything that was about her. God used every part of her natural life as well as her spiritual life. Amen. Right, Amen. Right. And you know, when I, when the Lord um, blessed me to write this book, I noticed that there was a book on the Deborah anointing. Mm -hmm. There was a book on the Esther anointing. Right. And I have been carrying this within me for years that, uh, of how powerful I thought Halter was but never hearing about her. Right. And so the Lord said, well, you know, there's a whole of anointing too. Right. That's what he gave to me. And that's why I wrote the book. And so you might want to say, well, what is the whole of anointing, Apostle? 
So let me read what I have written in my book. Amen. 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 Praise yes. God. Yes. What is the hug anointing? To walk in righteousness, to be a woman of distinction, mm -hmm. to be humble, mm -hmm. to study the scriptures, Amen. to pray always, to influence others, to be genuine and without deceitfulness. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Now, that's it. And you, we need to have those uh, characteristics in our lives to be used by God. Amen. We need to walk in holiness. We need to walk in purity. We need to walk in love. We need to be able to influence others. All of this is what we're calling and what I believe the Lord gave me as a revelation of what the whole the anointing is. And the point I'm trying to get across to you today is that God can use anybody. That's right. He That's can right. use anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Holder wasn't going across the, uh, the nations just really, you know, on television, on the internet, and, you know, Facebook. Holder wasn't doing all of that. <laughs> but at the same time, when God gets ready to use you, he'll find you. Yes, yes he will. Amen. Yes, he will. He'll blow you up with like this apostle Y'all he said, he will find you. Yes, he will. He's the one that will promote Thank you. you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. He's, the, he's your public relations manager. That's what I'm yes, talking about. Is. Amen. Yes. <laughs> like the song said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Amen. <laughs> so we, this, this all we, I believe that the, what God wants us to do is just live right. Yeah. yeah. Live holy. And we know, we understand that that's not by uh, performance, not your performance, but that's by grace. Amen. Let your holiness is a lifestyle. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Holiness, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are already holy when Jesus is, is with you. When Jesus comes to live in you, that's you're holy because he said, be ye holy for I am holy. Amen. You're holy Amen. because he's Amen. holy. But then you have to walk it out. You have to have a lifestyle yes, of yes. holiness. And people will begin to notice, as they did hold them, that you have been set aside. Oh, yes. You are a woman of distinction. Mm -hmm. So we're talking to the women today, but the men listening, the same goes for you. Amen. You may not want to say you have a holy anointing, just like you may not want to say you have a Deborah anointing or, or an Esther anointing. But what we're talking about today is it's universal. Yes. Yes, it and it is. really yes. has no gender to it. No, it doesn't. God wants you to live holy so that he can use you. Because God doesn't want to use a vessel that's unclean. No. Mm -hmm. Now we know that gifts and callings are without repentance. That's but right. God wants you to be a vessel that he can use. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I remember a teacher. Mm -hmm. The word teacher stood out when we were talking about it. Yes. And see, when she became a teacher, she had she reflected back on what God was teaching her. Yes. So then she would automatically shine because she was giving it to the once that she was yes, teaching. Yes. So she was using what God was giving her. Yes. And that's why she stood out. Yes. And then also you got to look at it. Because she stood out, she was very powerful. Yes, and yes. she attracted people to her. Yes. Because while she was teaching, she was giving them a word of encouragement. That's Amen. Right. A word of love. Amen. Yes. She was giving them what they needed. Yes. And Amen. people were going out and they were telling yes. about Amen. her. Yes. It Amen. wasn't across the TV screen. Yes. It wasn't on a billboard. Amen. Right. It was right. the word of her. Amen. Amen. And you know when the word comes forth, yes. it just flows out of you. Amen. And Amen. look what God had done with her mm -hmm. by being Amen. Amen. She was a woman of distinction. Mm -hmm. Right. And he set her apart and he used her mightily mm -hmm. as a teacher. Amen. And that's what we're saying today, if you're watching. We're saying that, of course, you want God to use you. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you want to know, well, God, what, what is your purpose for me? 
And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, then you can do so right now. And just repeat after me and say, Lord, thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Yes. I believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Now I'm asking you to save me and use me for your glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And if you repeated that prayer, the angels in heaven yes. are rejoicing. Yes, they are. Amen. They are. Amen. And that Amen. means that Jesus is now your Savior, and you're going to continue to make him Lord of your life. And it is a process. So, but you have started, and you have done what the Word of God says in Romans 10, um, the 10th chapter. You have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. And so if you have, then we want you to call us and let us know. Because you cannot be used by God unless you have accepted him as your Savior. Yes. You yes. must be born again. Yes. Amen. Amen. And with Holda, the thing that we, other thing that we want to get across about Holda is that she made an impact. Yes, she did. You know, you want to make an impact. In the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. You want to be a woman of distinction. And you can find this book on um, Amazon.com. And you can go to our website and order The Hold of Anointing. Amen. 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 So we hope that you will. So you, Because we can't cover everything today that's in the book, nor do we want to. Because we want you to purchase the book for yourself. Amen. And we need modern day holders today. Why do we need modern day holders today? Because people are hurting. People are hungry. People need to know the correct way to live. Yes, yes. Not only because of who we are. That's right. We're nobody without Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we have to show them the correct way. Amen. And then you have to show a person how to have a beautiful attitude. Give them the love that they need so that they will be able to understand that Jesus is the reason for the sin. Amen. 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 We need the whole anointing today um, because there is such, so much going on yes. in the world. And we need holders out there to speak for God, mm -hmm. to speak the truth, mm -hmm. and um, to let people know that Jesus is the way. All right. Jesus is the way. And so we need that holder anointing to usher in yes. the coming of the Lord. Yes. We need that holder anointing. And that holder's anointing is a very powerful anointing. Yes. Amen. Christly and powerful. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. And you know, um, the whole anointing today, in, in this day and time that we're living in, when you're saved and you've been born again, you when you read this book, you're like, thank you, God. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Because you're, you, you're so refreshed. Yeah. I was refreshed after reading the book, yes. and I read it twice. Yes. yes. Right. But you know, one thing that I, I saw in your book was the three R's. Amen. It was to rebuild, restore, and renew. Amen. And know that. Say that right into the camera again. Let them know. Restore, rebuild, and renew. Amen. So you have to be restored, then you have to be rebuilt, and then you are renewed on the inside. Amen. So that means some things have to be let go. That's right. So you got to, it says, tear down the old thing. That's right. So when you tear down an old building to build a new building. Yes. So you're tearing down that old foundation so that you can be built up on a new foundation. Yes, yes. So when you're restored into rebuilt, into renewed, mm -hmm. God can do something for you. That's when that anointing flows. But before then, there is no anointing. Amen. So you got to remember the three R's. Amen. 
Praise God. Amen. Well, you're listening to and watching Kingdom View, and we're discussing the Hold of Anointing, which is a new book, my newest book. I have other books that you can find when you go on the website. And help me to get this book out. Help others to find out about Holder because it's time for Holder to come forth. Yes, it is. It's time for some Holders. God is raising up some Holders in Amen. this generation. Amen. And, he, and I'm one of them. And I know there are some women watching and you saying, well, I want to be a Holder too. Well, all you have to do, amen, is just allow the Lord to use you. Live a holy life. Amen. Live amen. a life that's going to represent Christ. Hallelujah. Walk in humility. Thank you, Lord. Love one another. Yes. And I'm going to ask my co-hosts, each one, before we leave, if they're going, they have a last comment before the program leaves there. Amen. Just get the Holder's Anointing book so that you can read it over and over again. And you will surely, surely be blessed yes. after you read this book. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And Amen. it's Amen. easy reading. It's just, but it's so powerful. And that's why, you know, if you want to, you know, get yourself a copy, get someone else a copy, you know, and just make sure that you pass it on. That's the anointing. Amen. That's the anointing flowing. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. And remember, the three R's. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the things that I, before we leave, I'm going to say this. There was, uh, several years ago, someone came out with the book, The Jabez Prayer. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, many people, even though they read the Bible, they read right over it, but when he wrote the book, The Jabez Prayer, mm -hmm. amen, then people began to buy it, people began, you would see it everywhere, you would see it on keychains, you would see it on walls, you, would, you saw the j Bass prayer everywhere. Yes. Well, I believe that this book, The Hold Your Anointing, Amen. is going to take off like the j Bass prayer. Amen. Amen. Because this is something, it's not something that I made up, mm -hmm. and it's something that you can go into the Bible, read for yourselves, and find out that this is an anointing that God, there's no, no more will women be hidden. No more. No more. No even though at this, even in this 21st century, men are still saying that women should not preach. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But that spell is broken. Amen. 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 It's, you know, we're not listening to that. Amen. And since we're not listening to that, more and more is going to be coming forward. And this is one of the books that's coming forth to let you know. Not only is God using women to preach, He's using them to uh, prophesy. Preaching is prophesying. Yes. He's using them in healing ministry. Yes. He's using them to work miracles. And God has no respect of person. Amen. And as you will find when you read the Holder of Anointing, you can also be a modern day Holder. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Praise God. And tune in next Saturday to watch the Kingdom View! <laughs>